Are you stealing my seat? Are you stealing my seat for my prize draw? Are ya? You are, aren't ya? You're stealing your seat for... <laughs> That's a good video. Look at yourself. Jax, stop licking yourself. <laughs> oh, oh. I think I need to fix the camera. Oh, then you won't be able to see Jax. Let's just leave it as is. There we go. <laughs> oh, hopefully you can see me all right there, guys. It's James here. And uh, I uh, said I was going to do a prize draw probably about two weeks ago. Uh, it should have really been done. Oh, come here. It should have really... Oh, careful, careful. Uh, you should have been, as I said, it should have really been done uh, a couple, uh, probably a week ago or so ago. But uh, just a little reminder of the prizes, and that was Star Trek Into the Darkness and John Wick. Uh, the first one. Now, the third one of that's coming out. A lot of people are really looking forward to that one. I enjoyed both the John Wick movies. I think these are probably, you know, Keanu Reeves. The Matrix, I think, really, Speed. Matrix really made him and since then a lot of people that have said some of the films he's done hasn't been that great Point Break as well, what a film that was uh, I really enjoyed Constantine I thought that was a great one uh, on uh, on there and I, I really enjoy the John Wicks as well so they're pretty good too so without further ado, two prizes John Wick and Star Trek Into the Darkness so I've got my wee uh, pot here so we'll shake it out for all the entries and we'll get the first one out. And the first one to come out is... It's Pete! Hey! I won loads of his drawers and these one were mine. There you go. That was my daughter that wrote his son. I thought we might have struggled to read that for a second in there. But it's Pete! <laughs> so well done Pete. <laughs> these two will be on the way to you. Thank you very much. Uh, I did also do a few pickups this week. And the first one I've seen, I have seen this out and about already, but it was four or five pounds. And I was like, four or five pounds? Classic movie, but I'm sure I'll find it cheaper at some point. I say, we're collecting a lot of things, a lot of things, uh, the patience is the key. To be honest with you, I haven't had much patience lately, but I really need to do that. I really need to cut down on the number of things I'm buying, unless it's, you know, off store of credit or things like that. I really need to be a little bit more frugal, shall we say. So I picked this one up, and that is Labyrinth, with Jason Connolly and obviously the late David Bowie on there. And uh, I thought that was a good deal, and I got that off Music Magpie for £2.78 delivered. So can't argue with that. I thought... It's a one, they've only got one copy, and see when you use Magpie, uh, you've only got one copy on there. They usually It's usually a, a scratch one or something like that, but I checked that one out already, and the disc has got a couple of little fingerprint marks on it, but nothing to worry about, so happy to get that. To be honest with you, I'd really love to pick that up in the, and the Dark Crystal on 4K, but that'll be a future purchase, a birthday present or a Christmas present purchase, I think, uh, on there. So I was out about and I did see a steelbook of Avatar for £2.50. I thought, you know, I've got the regular, why not upgrade to the steelbook. It's in pretty decent neck, like, it's a few scratches, but it's not too bad. See, so just in the light now, I'm seeing the little light scratches uh, on there, but too bad. So it's the two disc edition steelbook. I do like it when they do steelbooks, nice inside artwork, look at that. That's nice, isn't it? Is Avatar my favourite movie? No. A lot of people call it Pocahontas. Because it's the exact same storyline. Or pretty much. So there you go. But yeah. That is the DVD. And that is the thing. So I've actually got Avatar like this in a non steelbook. So that means I can uh, see. So I mean, I really need to sh Should I really pick that up because it's steelbook? Probably not, but I did. So there you go. I uh, also picked up a couple of other ones from Music Magpie. And this one is with Ron Perriman and Nicolas Cage. And that is Season of the Witch. Now I have watched this one. And to be honest with you, I thought it was a mediocre movie. But I do like to give movies a second chance and uh, give them another go on there. So I thought, you know, this was in part of Music Magpie's 
buy one get one half price so it was one pound fifty but if you bought another one you got it for 75p so there you go nice artwork on that one good so you know for one pound fifty and if you can include it with the other one i got which was wrecked i haven't actually watched this one with adrian brody but i've heard about it so it looks like a, a decent a decent watch that one uh some nice this artwork, a little bit this artwork there, yep. So with that, along with uh, Season the Witch, was £2.25. So, yeah, so I'm just trying to look, look at, look at me trying to do maths in my head. <laughs> what was that, one pound, £1.12 pound and a half pence each or something like that? So I was happy to pick that up. I have got another few from Music Magpie that I'm not showing you yet. So all of these were part of the two for two twenty five sale. And uh, this one was in here, and it's, it looks like a cheesy action movie and it's called Hard Rush and that's Dolph Lundgren and Vinnie Jones so can I be a bit of Dolph uh, oh look I haven't even opened that one up and it's upside down in the case still alright it's not disc isn't bad I'm pretty sure I checked that but it was myself that done that but there you go so Hard Rush and I picked that one up there are you alright you're missing your mummy She's just at work, she'll be home soon. Hey, yeah, she'll be home soon. You should be your daddy. Yeah. Is that in your eyes? I like to. Oh. Oh, right. So, my last pickup I picked up was the Meg on 4K. And I used store credit to get this. I, my and my wife actually seen this one in the cinema. I actually thought it was a decent, decent uh, movie. You've got to take it for what it is. And that is a entertainment movie. It's not going to be. I was going to say an epic or things. You've just got to, sometimes when you go to these movies, you've got to sort of let your expectations. I was just looking for a fun time, get away from the kids for a couple of hours, and it provided that. And I was very happy with that, and I said my wife liked it too. So I picked up the Meg in 4K with a slip for £15 out of CEX. And I say I used store credit to get that, so not too bad. And uh, you know what? What's good about this is the Blu-ray doesn't have any disc artwork, but look, they put the effort into the 4K. Nice. So I've actually seen this. I thought The Meg was a decent movie. And uh, the other... I was saying, some of the bits of it were funny. I thought I thought Jason Statham was great in this. And uh, is it, you could, call, could you call it Jaws for the 21st century? I suppose you could. But I really enjoyed this one. So that was my, my pickups. I do have more. But I'm trying to, you know, give the, each of them a little bit of time in the videos to have a look at them, have a look at them in a little bit more detail uh, on, on there. And uh, so I'm just doing a few on this one. So thank you very much and congratulations to Pete. I'm glad you, uh, I'm glad you've won one of my draws uh, on there. So the parcels will be winging their way to, winging their way to you. I will announce another. I have got a few more movies that I'll do a giveaway on. And I will announce that short, uh, shortly uh, on there. But to be honest, they're in the other room. The reason I came through here is because the budgies were chirping. So I uh, wanted to film this in my son's room. So I shall leave you to it. And uh, thank you very much. And I'd just like to say thank you to all my new subscribers and my current ones. Where uh, I say that the channel seems to be growing quite well. I say I've got 167 subscribers now. And uh, that's amazing for me. Everyone who watch it, yeah, I'd really do appreciate. I do like to interact with you. So if you've got any comments or thoughts on the mu on, on the mu on the movies or just anything you want to say, put it down below. If you do like the video, I would give it a thumbs up because that helps me get up the little ranking, shall we say, there, and more people can uh, see my videos. Which ultimately, do is that what you you're on YouTube for? Probably is, but. The truth of the matter is, I like making these videos because I like speaking about movies and the more people that see the video, the more people interact with you and I think that's a that's a great that's a great thing. I say I've met quite a few, shall we say, uh, movie collectors. I thought I was the only one that done this until uh, last Christmas I started watching uh, other people like Pete, Big Polly, Cinema Sickness. Uh, John Flickster and Chris Stuckman and oh yeah and Wet Movie 1 watch Cool Dooder as well and I just sort of found these people and they uh, realised that they do the same thing as me it isn't just me that collects movies and physical media 
uh, on there and they enjoy it too so I like to be part of that it's good to know that other people other people do that so I hope you uh, hope you've got uh, have a good day and if you have any thoughts then please put them down below appreciate it thanks guys bye